Today, I pose a question to you. Can your family afford to eat? Not like cold hungry children picking food up from the streets. Tell me, how are you coping with the current cost of living? Do you feel our government taking more money than they're given? Can you say you know any person who can live beyond their means? Do their children play with cardboards or are they fighting over screens? We can't afford our mortgage or rent. There's no more benefits. We cannot save towards our future. That's when the depression hits. Do you worry about anything else? Or is it just the rising bills? Can you sleep on your own accord? Or do you now require pills? Do you walk into your local shop to find an increase in prices? That's when reality really hits you. We are living in a crisis. <laughs> um, cost of living crisis, man. What's this guy's name? The black guy that's got sacked recently. Parliament guy. Parliament black guy. guy. Nigerian. That guy. Kwasiman, whatever his name is. <laughs> he butchers name. Yeah, yeah. Him and Liz Truss linked up and fucked the whole of the UK up with the interest rates have gone up the window. I, make, I had didn't they make promises as well? Yes. They made promises for like a an, like a certain amount that they would like give out. Like is it Yes. Like bursary or something, yeah. You, you know what? I promise. <laughs> I did feel a little bit, I don't know, hopeful that a black guy was involved in behind the scenes in the parliament. I did feel a bit, oh, hopeful, da, 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 but at the same time, um, I didn't know he was going to fuck out that bad. <laughs> <laughs> Stick your own family. You can't trust these politicians, man. You know what it is? You don't know until you're there. So you can make bad promises, but it's like, you have to look at it realistically. So for example, like they can say, oh, we can make, we, they can, if they up the quality of, um, let's say the NHS, for example, yeah, there's gotta be, um, it's gonna cost money to do that. Mm. So when people say, oh, we're gonna have a better quality NHS, yeah. everyone's celebrating, but no one's actually thinking, where's the cost gonna come from? It can come from our pockets. That's, mm. that's where it's gonna come from basically. So if you get an increase in tax all of a sudden, don't be surprised. Here it is. One of our, one of our promises was to scrap um, the speed limit. To scrap the speed limit? Yes, scrap the speed limit. So you could drive at any speed you want uh -uh. on the road. You could drive 100 million miles per hour on the road. You could, you could lick off anything. That was one of our promises. A lot of people felt... What? Yeah, yes. This, is, this sounds outrageous. But a lot of people fell on the, on the Bible of, yes, this is sick. Da, 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 da. But a lot of people fell on the... It was a 50-50 situation, uh -huh. but I feel like the, the people that liked it, the more... That's like, so random, though. It's, it's like, so random. They're more pressing things to actually think about than that. Exactly. Like, even now, man's a bit like, cold. Oh, like, what's the heat saying? Yeah. Like, <laughs> but that's where cost of living crisis comes in. So uh, if you're revving up your car... <laughs> 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 if you're revving up your car, fuel prices are... Going up the window, mate. Listen, when we when we when we used to go when we used to go club in OT, it was the the driver five pound five pound five pound. Bro, this guy asked for like fifteen pound one time. I was like, we're going to the same place we've gone to mm. in so long. He was like, yo, the prices have gone up. I didn't feel. I, I thought it was chatting shit. Then we go to the petrol station, and I'm looking at the meter. I'm like, oh, aha, uh -huh. okay. That fifteen pound hurt me to this day still. Are you kind of glad you don't drive for that reason? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Take the train in it. Take the train in it. Take the train. Um, in the past, what? I, I was reading something last night, but in the past 20, 25 years, this is the most outrageous, outrageously expensive fuel has ever been. Um, I well, know, Right now? In the past couple months, perhaps. Yeah, for the past couple months. Right. I, I hear this. I would fill up my car with... 50 to 60 pound minimum, like maximum. And it, if I fill it up now, mm -hmm. it would take me 110 pounds to fill it up. So basically doubled roughly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, shoot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So that's that's one that's of the areas, that's, that's that's one of the areas where Kwasi Kwasi, whatever his name is, and List Trust have fucked us up. Oh, they've left now, isn't it? No, they've, they've fucked they off. Got, oh, 44 rah. days, 44 days they've fucked off. 44 days? 44 days. Bruh. And that's one of the areas where they've been fucking us up. There's a lot of more areas and there's a lot of different places that they've been screwing us up.
for example, electric prices? Don't get me started on that, to be fair. Um, <laughs> at the moment where I live, or um, I live with the family, I pay rent, but my the amount that I pay is just strictly rent. Mm. So when it comes to the actual bills, yeah, I leave that to my parents. Mm. So the rent's actually the bigger chunk, but the bills, because it fluctuates again, yeah, yeah. it could go up or down. We leave that to the ones earning the most, my parents. So mm. um, I'm not too bad with that. We had to, I had to think tactically. Because I, I wanted to move out. Yeah, <laughs> That was in, in my mindset. I wanted to move out. Um, but then it was like, there were some houses that were fixed prices in one day. And in the following week, there were fixed prices, but they said, oh, all bills, da 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 da, da not included. <laughs> so they switched up. So it was one of them ones where I was like, you know what? With the amount of money, let me just chill. Let me just coach back, save up. If I can save money during these times, Oh, that's a dub for me still. Do you think for the average normal nine to five up, would this be a smart time to have intentions of buying a property, for example? Um no. No. Why do you think that? Uh I mean, they'll probably be asking for more more money in deposit. Yeah. And deposit wise yeah. interest rate will go up. Yeah. Like it's almost like when I when I get a phone on a normal, like a normal contract. Yeah. If you get a decent phone on a normal contract, you're looking at 35 plus. You're way paying, more. You're paying, paying, yeah, I said, I, yeah, I thought yeah, the yeah, cheapest yeah, one yeah, I could yeah, think of up was, whereas you got somebody who's got the same phone as you who got it on Black Friday <laughs> <laughs> and he's paying 15 pounds a month and he's got unlimited internet, but you've got like 20 gig. Yeah. You yeah, know, yeah. I look at that with, when it comes to, um, when, when it comes to buying a house, the best time to bought a house would have been COVID. Mm. That would have been the best time to buy a house. Oh yeah, first time buyers, five percent deposit, interest rates weren't that bad. Yo, that was the best time. But now I would say it's the worst time. But whatever goes up must come down. So I guess you might have to just keep on saving and just if you've got the savings already, just kind of keep it there and just be patient. Really. So people with bread, people that are breaded up, can I don't know indulge a lot from from this crisis. I'm assuming. If yeah, if you own stuff, this would be a good time to sell. I guess. <laughs> If you own stuff, but if you if you're trying to buy stuff, then uh, probably not in general. Well, in terms of housing, yeah, yeah. I heard interest rates went up to like six percent, and there were I think there were normally like one point five percent interest rates up. That was that was the and it went up to six six percent. Yo, it's them ones where I had to dip. Yo, having a free yard, having bay over, it's not <laughs> worth it, man. It's not worth it. Let me have my own. Let me chill in the yard. Let me sneak her in, sneak her out. Let me just, you know, let me just chill, fam. So it's that ones where I had to, I had to really look. Why do I want my own yard? Obviously, my own space, my own freedom. Um, kind of just helps, you know, as a man. It's yeah. good to have your own stuff. But then again, you were logical in it. You got to be logical. Yeah. So I had to, I had to speak to my dad about that, and he said, "Yo, just come get you, come. move your ego out of the equation, come and just, true." You know, so I said, you know what, cool. I'll give it like 12 months and see what happens. So, yeah. So for that reason being, we would see perhaps a lot of people, a lot more people renting rather than actually having intentions of buying a house. Yeah, so, you'll probably see a lot more people not just renting, but looking to move in with more people. So you yeah. see a lot more, you probably see like friends who don't have the option that I do. So yeah. I live with my family, for example. Yeah. They might look for each other as friends yeah. and be like, okay, let's all get a house together yeah. or shared house or shared apartment yeah. or something just to mitigate the costs as much as they can. Yeah. So yeah. I think that's a smart idea. I think that's what people can do for themselves, really. Because I see renting as uh, <laughs> chucking money away in the bin, really. That's That's... Yeah, that's yeah. that's what that's that's what my dad told me. That made me really deep it because he was like, "You're you're paying someone else's mortgage." Yes, exactly. And I was like, "Damn." Yeah, you are. Why you go put it like that? He's giving me my freedom though by giving me the yard, but you're paying someone else's mortgage. So I had to just had to think about that and just yeah, help the family instead, save up while I'm there. I got one amount that I pay monthly. There's it's not that it will come and then the bills will come and it's like, mm, mm. damn, I can't go out this this month. <laughs> it's not gonna be one of them ones. One amount, prepare for it, it comes leave, leaves my account. So yeah. Yeah. Renting tricky. But That's, on top of the rent you have to pay X amount for electric bills. You have to pay X amount for gas or whatever. Yeah, like and I, I look at it like this. If you if you're bumping into a guy Mm -hmm. that has the heating on in his house 24 7 
That's a few. <laughs> that's a full tank of petrol. He is. He's doing something. I might have to do a twenty-one <laughs> quick, quick drive-by, fam. <laughs> Might have he's, to do a quick pop smoke from it. <laughs> he's doing something because, <laughs> uh, the, the, boy, how expensive that is is outrageous. How expensive that shit, especially these times. And it's not even winter yet. And like, oh, bro, it'd be cold sometimes. You know, I think the only thing that I've done to again mitigate costs is mm. extra, extra, <laughs> extra thick duvet, big ass blanket. Yeah, all that stuff. Wear socks in the house. We turn it on at a certain time when everybody's at home. Yeah. So if only like three or two, two or three of us are at home, we just firm it. But when more people come home, yo, yo. little things like that. Well, so just, how, <laughs> you you're Af- you live in an African household, yeah? Oh, tell me about it. And um, we like heat. Okay. I, I know where you're going with. Hear this. You, you got the light on for too long. Are you are you going to be there for too long? Turn the light off or is it, how how living in an African household, how does it, how is that going to work? How is that going to work? Living the light top for too long or not? Forgetting to turn the lights off or leaving a TV on for too long or the plugging only, this on, plugging. The funny thing is the only person we have to keep an eye on is my little brother because he's the only one that doesn't pay anything. So that's it. Apart from, like, I, I can think when I was a kid, even when, when bills weren't high, you know, because we didn't pay bills, we didn't have an idea of how much it was. Mm. So we would leave stuff on, but my parents would, you know, nip it in the bud. Yeah. But now we're paying bills. Like me, my older sister, my little sister, we're all paying bills. So we just do it automatically. Like I'll leave, like I'll be in a rush, taxis outside for work mm. and I'm like almost late and I'm running. I'll literally close the door behind me and be like, open it back, peep my head through. Okay, lights are off, lights are off, <laughs> lights are off. And then close the door and leave. Like it's, be, it's become yeah. one of them ones, isn't it? But that was even before the, <laughs> the prices go up, isn't it? So imagine now. Be, yeah, imagine now, bro. You just, Flashlight, fam. Just you know, look at what I'm doing, fam. Eating in the dark, fam. Might be one of them. <laughs> get dressed in the dark and get dressed in the dark. <laughs> eat in the dark. Go outside, get a lighter. Yeah. Cut down some trees, lit on fire, and just <laughs> have a campfire outside. Gonna have to start showering, showering at the gym now. Oh, oh no! Oh, Let me yeah. add that to the thing. I didn't even, I didn't even think of that, fam. <laughs> what, what things can can we do to mitigate the cost? Yeah, exactly. What I things? mean, it depends on what demographic and because oh, our yeah. age roughly. All right, let's let's say our age roughly working class. Working class. Um, it depends where you situation you're in. If situation like mine, stay with your family. You know, help each other out. You kind of you kind of have to huddle up, and that's where your friends and family come in. Um, move in with people, you know, to make the cost less and less and less. Yeah. So you might have to sacrifice, you know, I know, I know, I know guys that are divas. Mm. Gaudem, Gaudem, I like that, but I know guys that are divas, oh, I want my own space, da, 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 da. But then simultaneously, you're complaining about the, the prices of this, that, this, that. Mitigate the cost, man. You might need to sacrifice a couple of things. Like, it's only for a short period. What mm. goes up must come down. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? When COVID happened, prices went down. Mm. Perfect time. But then what goes down? Up again. Up again, firm. So it's going to fluctuate. So you got you got to just, this, <laughs> might need to just firm it for a couple this, of months. This is the worst time to have a relationship. If oh. you, you want to go out on dates, oh. if you want to go out and do this, I'll, do I'll, the other thing. I want to see what February the 14th will be like. That would be hilarious. I, <laughs> I, like, I want to see what <laughs> winter wonderland wear, firm. <laughs> well, Christmas presents. Ah. Socks. Way. You're getting socks, Primark. Lings socks Africa. And, you got Lings so- Africa. Socks and boxes. Yeah, <laughs> there you go, mate. <laughs> you got the Lings Africa coming through again. Bro, if you're not saving up for them times there, like starting now, it's it's, it's tight. But I feel like with your friends and family, they'll, they'll understand where you're the girl you're with. Yeah. Yeah. She much, she much, yeah. Hakkasan wear from. Hakkasan wear. But at the same time, on top of that, everyone does something every year around this time of the year, perhaps, yeah. you see Christmas lights everywhere. You see houses showering Christmas lights everywhere. I haven't, I haven't seen one Christmas. Fam, for Halloween, I saw just one house decorated. I only saw one house. And this was when I walked home from my workplace yeah. all the way to Colchester Road. Wow. Like, I, I only saw one house decorated. And it was then ones I was like... Tsk. I get it. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You get it, you get it, you get it. Like it's them ones, but it's, it's tight, man. It's tight. Obviously, for people our age, yeah. like you're not really, you're not a top earner. There's mm. very, there's gonna be a few of them that can afford all that stuff. But 
for people our age, you might have to just find ways to mitigate the cost. Oh, yeah. Little things here and there. Every little helps. From fuel, like I know a friend who um he works for he works the company he works for has a company car or company van. Yeah. So they they actually supply him with fuel for the van as well. So basically, what he will do is like more than enough fuel. So what it will do is the same fuel. But his whip. Full up his whip as well. Yeah. Like little things like that. Like little bits here and there. It, it helps, isn't it? And then obviously, you know, hold your breath and hopefully, you know, it'll be <laughs> over. It'll be over and we'll be back to normal. Yeah, little things can take you a long way. Like you Yeah, mentioned. yeah. I think the, the line that I, cro- I, I draw is if I'm able to save up each month, save something up and actually be in a surplus, when it's over, I'll, I'll count that as a W. Mm. You know, in a difficult time, still being able to save up. I think that's the level that you should kind of aim at. What was something you reckon that you can't do now that you used to do before? Before, in terms of spending, for example, ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, drip. Yeah, is that a window? Shopping, yeah, yeah. Shopping. Um, I won't say shop. Yeah, drip shopping, food. Um, you know, you're not having lobster anymore. It's like noodles and <laughs> uh, pot go, noodles. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Man, when we're going, when we're going clubbing or going out OT, like with the man, them, mm. we have to. If we want a good quality night out, you're planning a month, two months plus beforehand, just to have a good quality night. If it's one of them ones, well, we can't do. We can't afford to do like a. Oh, let's go this pl- Manchester mm. two weeks from now. We can't mm. afford to do all of that stuff. You can't. You can't afford to say, "Yo, rolling loud next year, guys." All right, guys, let's save. Yeah, let's, let's buy it. You yeah, know, yeah, go we, on. Uh, like, oh, let's put a deposit of so so <laughs> amount. <We're> like, <laughs> Yo. just scratching heads, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, <laughs> the, I, I reckon we can still do the same things, you know, food, everything, but it's just the quality that's gonna go down. That's literally it. Mm. Um, I say that's it. Like, it's it's a big thing, obviously. Mm. The quality of nights out you'd be having, the quality of food you might be having, the yeah. expensive, more expensive yeah. foods, the quality of restaurant you might go to, uh, clothing wise, you know, you have to look for, you look at this one, you said Balenciaga, yeah. you have to now look at- uh, yeah, Beavis. <laughs> Beavis. You have to look at DK's or you go to yeah. um, um, ASOS and look at the, the sales, you know, you have to look at them ones. You're gonna have to drop the Pride and, and shop at Primark now. Mate. If they got the same thing, but it does just doesn't have the Prada sign on it, yeah, have to throw it on in it. Okay, you have to throw it on for long day from boy. Um, I I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Didn't think I'd ever say that I'm gonna have to drop the pride and start actually putting money aside to you know what I mean to get through this time. So I never thought I'd ever say that. Now the time that I, that I thought that was time was times were bad. Cause I don't I don't have a car in it, so my thing was I didn't have any idea like how what you man were going through, but mm-hmm. I could only gauge it from the man them in it. Yeah. So obviously when the man were coming to like visit or play FIFA at mine, little things like that, he'll walk to mine, and then I'll be like, oh yeah, uh, let's go McDonald's quick, like I'm very hungry. <laughs> like, I come, come, come. We'll go. We'll step out, and I'm stepping out with a mindset of he brought his car. So I step out with my sliders. Mm. So I step out, I'm like, yo, where's your car? That's your whip. He looks at me like I'm like I'm crazy. <laughs> He's like, yeah, bro, I walked here, fam. I was like, oh, like that. So it's them ones where it's like, you can kind of gauge how people are acting. But it's a smart thing because, again, it's mitigating costs. Like where you, do, where you know you can walk to, just walk, man. It's not that deep. Just walk the, it, man. The upper class won't even have a, a clue about what the working class are going through at the moment and, and uh, the things we have to do to... I to mean, get through the day. I mean, with the upper class, it fluctuates because certain to a certain level, yeah. they won't they won't really know. Mm. Like I think there was a story of Mares. I think someone banked fraud on Mares's account, and he didn't notice or realize mm. until it hit like six figures, Fuck. like a like a mid six figure, like a decent six figures amount. That's when he realized that oh shit, someone's t- <laughs> that's that. So them man there, you know, they won't notice in it. But a certain upper certain level of upper class, I mean, depends what they do if they what up taxes, they're going to start up and work their way down. Mm. You know, those that were paying, you know, 30% of their wage or 40%, that's going to go up. So to an extent, they might still feel it, but once you get to a certain level, yeah, you're, you're clear, you're clear. But at the same time, I feel like the upper class should extend the hand, perhaps. I feel like this podcast could, you know what I mean, bring him a bit of light, bring him a bit of, <laughs> <laughs> bring him, bring him, Bring him a, a bit of acknowledgement. You know what, actually? Perhaps would you extend a hand and, and help up, help a friend? Or donate. 
I'll, 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 you know, I would drop the pride too. Hey, yo, <laughs> to I'll, I'll drop my account <laughs> right now. Fam. I'll DM a few, a few verified accounts for straight. I'll donate to my pocket. I do hear that though, but the thing with that is like that kind of boils down to like I think when you leave it to individual ch- choices, yeah. then people start doing good. But when you, I don't think, I don't think there should be like a mandate to uh, like force people to do it. Mm. I think maybe the royal family, you know, I feel like they've got quite a bit of bit of bread to oh yeah to <laughs> to give out. So only them. But when it comes to like normal people who are like normal like me and you and made it out of the mud themselves, then I feel like it should be out of their discretion. Even though no matter how rich they get, like I feel like it should be out of their discretion because that kind of just look up back in them palace, bruv. Back in the palace is humongous. It's the size of Ipswich completely. But hear this, hear this. That was a stretch. Ha- no, no, perhaps a bit of a stretch, <laughs> perhaps a bit of an exaggeration. But, but look at this. I can't imagine that amount of electric prices they would pay a month over there. Or oh, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah, so I these these people don't have a clue about turning the lights off. Oh, finish, get yeah, the, turn the TV off. Like I remember the first time I went to one of my friends' house, like one of the white kids I, I, I was friends with, I went to his house for the first time. Da, 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 da. Yeah, yeah, proper, bread it up. And you see the mom asking everyone, oh, what do you want to eat? And and I'm sitting there thinking, yo, what do you mean, what do you want to eat? Like, I thought we were going to eat all the same thing. You're asking individually, just cooking individually for everyone. Every single person is getting something. Yo, Benny Harness, yeah, man, yeah. Benny Harness, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. Order that, order yeah. that. So... <laughs> I don't know how how are these people coping? Like how are how are people that are so up like that? How are they? There's you know a I mean? um, uh, the only example I can think of, of to kind of figure out how they cope. Um, there's a guy who like he does like security he works on the doors. Yeah. So essentially, what it was was when the pri- when the prices were going up and all those things. Um, I remember talking to him and he, he basically got extra qualifications to do more sh- more shit. It's, it's weird. He was he was doing security. He, he would do security for like office buildings. Mm. So empty office buildings, he would do security there. And then he got another qualification to do that and work, have the option to work on the door, so nightclubs. Mm. And then he got, he then got like this other qualification that basically allows him to do work on the rails. Um, he hasn't got started that one yet, but that's like, I mean, heck, they can pay you like 400 pounds for, sh- for a day a day shift and they will call you literally each week and be like, can you do this shift? Can you do that shift? So little things like that. So essentially it's like, okay, these costs are going to go up, but I want my quality of life to remain the same. So what do you do? You just have to find a way to bring extra money in. Mm. So literally like that. So that's, I know that's one option, of course. Side hustles. Yeah, side hustles. Or some, most people will probably just mitigate the costs and just, you know, keep the cost down to have more free time. But side hustle, you might, you might, your uh, social life might suffer, but when when you haven't been through hardship like that, um, for example, living in a, an African Caribbean household, yeah, yeah, you you probably would have been through hardship and stuff like that. And when you haven't been through uh, hardship, I feel like your level of resilience when it comes to dealing with certain things um, could be perhaps weaker. That is true. You know yeah. what I mean? Perhaps yeah. Yeah. when it comes to dealing with the, how, how things that change, let's say hypothetically you haven't f- had any sort of level of resilience and you're now, your parents has kicked you out of the house and now you've got to live with people. Now you've got to pay rent. Now you've got to do this. Now you've got to do that. And now you're, and now you're thinking, oh, mum used to pay for that. I just yeah. pay for this. You will, you, you will suffer. That's very, very. That's that. That for sure. You is will true. suffer. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But, spoiled, spoiled. You've been spoiled. I've seen. I've seen people overcome it. Eventually, eventually they overcome it because it's almost like you now have to do for yourself. Mm. So if you're not used to cleaning the house, because mommy, mommy yeah, used yeah. to do, it, and then you move out, you know, you either turn in, you either turn into that hoarder that they have on TV, yeah, where all the stuff's everywhere, or you just have to look at the place and be like, okay, I don't like how the place looks. Maybe you might have to wait till it's dirtier than your mum did before you clean it, but eventually you'll end up like building up that resilience up. So I don't think that people can just be like flat out lazy and just afford to be like that. Because when push comes to shove, like <laughs> a lazy man's gonna get his ass up. Mm. When, when push comes to shove, someone that hates running, put a, put a tiger behind him. <laughs> best believe you're running for your life. You're running. So I I feel like. Some people have to wait to get to that extreme. Exactly. Whereas others, it kind of goes up all the way to people that can do shit for themselves. Mm. So, mm. Uh, yeah. 
Off topic and on topic as well. Something I wanted to speak to your Bawa star. The poem. The poem we got written down over here. Uh huh. Lovely young lady, SG, helped us out with the poem. Oh, you and got help with yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh, um, okay. She just actually wrote everything. <laughs> <laughs> you just, you just, you yeah, were just yeah, there yeah. giving yeah. more support. I, I was, I was, I mentioned, Clapping, I, I, yeah. me I mentioned to her, yo, SG, listen, I'm filming a video about this. Could you do a poem about this? And yeah. she's like, yeah, say less. Okay. Next minute, she's wrote a poem, read it to me. I was nearly in tears. I couldn't believe what I was reading. And, but you, always, you, 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 you read through it. You read through it. What, what did you think? I mean, we both, we, I mean, I do, I do resonate with it. It's kind of like a, it's focused more on the, I'd say the lower class. So people that will struggle. Which is good. So it's kind of like yeah, draws attention. To working her. class. Yeah, working class and below, basically. Exactly. You know, it's gonna be a harsh winter. Mm. <laughs> so, uh, like, like for example, the first line today, I pose a question to you: uh -huh. Can your family afford to eat? Not like cold, hungry children picking food up from the streets. Like that's just bars. <laughs> that's just. <laughs> yeah, let's do a bar. That, that's just bars. Yeah. Nah. When she was reading this to me, I was so like. I would say that that's the kind of. I'll say poem, but that's those are the kind of things that you would have, like those that are in the upper class think about. Yes, yes. That's the kind of thing that yeah. they would think about because, in a sense, you don't want to force someone's hand to give, because that doesn't make them a good person. It just makes you a uh, communist, one of them. But it makes you one of them. Mm. So essentially, you are encouraging. So that 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 sounds to me when I read it, it sounded sounded more of an encouraging cry to those that can afford to eat, those yeah. that can afford to do all those things. So kind of- Extend a hand. Extend a hand. Help exactly. a friend. I don't Help a friend. Let me know. <laughs> <laughs> Trust, that one's um, there. <laughs> the next line was, tell me, how are you coping with the current cost of living? Do you feel our government taking more money than they're given? Oh yeah, absolutely. That 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 kind of boils that kind yeah. of boils down to the uh the royal family, or, the, or the, royal the royal family, family. Yeah, yeah, them yeah. and there, yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent. I feel like I haven't actually looked into it, but I've, I'm I'm scared if I look into it, I'll get even more angry because it's like the little costs here and there, yeah, that cost for the, for certain funerals or yeah. cost uh, cost for um, certain entourages, you know, yeah. You're you're driving a flipping what's it called a Jaguar. Yeah, they, 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 I think that's the that's the the natural the car they use or the type yeah, of the Rolls Royce they use the Rolls, Rolls Royce Royces, yeah the Rolls Royces the the Bentleys them ones there it's like can you just like down it down a bit yeah. like you know what I'm saying like, get for Fiesta okay <laughs> <laughs> okay that's a bit low yeah, but, yeah. but like you know like deep it like yeah. you go off, yeah. like be don't like you're acting like a boss rather than a leader a leader is somebody like you know you have the pyramid yeah. pyramid scheme the leaders at the top mm. well flip that upside down. You have the boss, you have the leader who's carrying everybody else. Yeah. So the leader takes the responsibility. I like that. So I'm stealing that. I'm stealing <laughs> like that. that. Yeah, I'm like, so yeah. when you have a good leader, that person that person is willing to sacrifice like himself for the good of the people. Mm. Rather than somebody like I can kind of imagine what the job interview for um mayor of London or prime minister looks like. Yeah. You know, here's the here are the hours. This is the amount of money you'll be earning. This is the amount of holidays you'll have per year. Yeah. You know, you can have more as well if you want to, because we're paying you this much anyway. Yeah. And the person's like, yeah, cool, I'll take it. And and if, for example, Liz Truss has guaranteed until her, um, until she passes away, 150 grand a month or a year until she goes. For, That's guaranteed. Just for just for being a, a, a prime minister. Oh what well, for her, for yeah, herself. For her, for yeah, herself. So it's like it's like that's coming out. That's, that's coming out your pocket. That's coming out my pocket. Yeah, because like that's, that's, if they have it, if they had it like a performance based. Yeah, because certain jobs are performance based. Yes. You can't go into sales yes. and be like, oh yeah, you know, you'll make zero point one sales a, a month, mm. but you'll still guarantee this amount. They're like, yo, if you don't make this amount, um, this amount of sales, that's it. That you're I gone. If they made it like that, maybe things will improve. Maybe if it was performance based. But to get up there to to become a prime minister, I want to be, be a prime minister. A word, yeah. I mean, to get to get <laughs> to get up there, bro. I'll back it. I don't care. Yeah. Even though you do, even even if you do shit, I'll back it. Yeah, that's, come that's, on, man. That's my bias yeah. opinion. Isn't it? No, but I just legend. feel like to get up there, it's it's partially who you know. Mm. I feel like that's the 
you can be you can have all the right ideas, but it's partially who you know. Mm. All the right ideas, all that's gonna get them to do is listen to you. But for you to get there, clout to be able to have people to like listen to you and to reach out to people, mm. that's 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 where we kind of fall short. I mean, I, I am I am a man um, of color. I am a melanated man, <laughs> <laughs> and to be to be anywhere near there. It's gonna be a, bit of a tricky task. Tricky task. You tricky reckon? Task. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what it is? Even though that might be the case, for the sake of like, if you want to achieve it, you can't have that mindset. Yeah. The only mindset that works is the extreme mindset on the other side, which may, that's why actually a lot of high earners are like African descendants mm. because the parents are like, when we come to this country, you have a doctor, lawyer, yeah. pilot, or one of these high high paying jobs. Mm. They have it in like, as a black man, work extra hard. Mm. Not as a black man, oh, I'm disadvantaged, so I'm just not gonna work try, hard. Yeah. Try, But a, so, a lot of black people use that as, as, a, as, a, as an excuse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When it becomes that as an excuse, then maybe maybe you should kind of lay yeah, off yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So probably just use it as a motivator. Yeah. They don't expect me to do much, so I'm gonna I'm do gonna much do and even prove more. them wrong. Exactly. So if that's the mindset, then yeah, you'll go far. Why not? Yeah. Next prime minister, why not? Why not? You know. Imagine. I'll be there right behind you, mate. I got this business idea. Yeah, pass me a few. No, no, you you be you be in a you be in a staff room with, with, with us. No yeah, there. yeah, yeah. Number Come 10 on. in there. Yeah, number 10 in there. <laughs> it's a room for you in there, bro. Bro. <laughs> the next line is Can you say you know any person who can live beyond their means? Do their children play with cardboards or are they fighting over screens? That's a bar right there. Bro. Li- live live beyond their means. Live beyond their means. Do you, can you say you know any person who can live beyond their means? Do so essentially, ch- basically live exactly. in a in a lane that they're exactly in a, in a higher lane exactly than exactly oh, in okay. a higher class. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Pff, I or mean, other, uh, like, like for example, that following line: Do the children play with cardboards or are they fighting over screens? Like fighting over screens. Like for example, you see kids nowadays that they'll be one and a half. They'll be they'll be three three days old and they'll be tapping on YouTube. They'll be they'll be playing with. A screen, they have a screen. They are born with a screen on their hands, essentially. Or oh, rich. Oh, exactly. Okay. Oh, okay. Even even if you're not rich nowadays, I don't think you don't have to be extremely. So rich. essentially, doing the Instagram lifestyle. Yeah. So you can't afford it, but um, Mr. Credit Card. Yeah. And Mrs. Loan are helping you out. Exactly. Oh, okay. Okay. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So that's probably the of all the the advice I was given earlier of basically mitigating because that's basically the other extreme. Mm. The advice I was giving is here. That yeah. advice is over here. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Nah, nah. I, 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 do I know anyone personally? No, I don't. Uh, let's just say if I did, they would, they would, <laughs> they would know, they would, they would know me by now because I'm, I'm basically that guy that I would, even if you don't warrant it, I will talk to. I would have to pull you to the side and be like, yo, like, you relax, <laughs> chill. If this is, if it's not sustainable, you're living beyond your means. Oh, absolutely. So you know, absolutely. The following line would be. We can't afford our rent or mortgage. There's no more, there's no more benefits. We can't save towards our future. That's when depression hits. That is facts yeah. because there have been times when I've kind of because when I started working, I finished university at 23. Mm. So I, I 22, 20 to 23. Uh, my first job. I'm not gonna say the amount of money. So anyway, <laughs> I wasn't. Let's just say, let's simplify as a 23 year old for me. Mm. I wasn't happy with it. Mm. I was not happy with it. So it's one of them ones where, like, yeah, you have to just. I guess you have to push yourself. Yeah, you have to do what you gotta do. You want to be up there. You gotta do the sacrifice. <laughs> you gotta make the sacrifices. You know, you're gonna be paying a lot, fitting in a lot more bills this winter. So you gotta think to yourself, okay. What are the things that I can do again to mitigate the costs? Mm. Yeah, I'm gonna have to make sacrifices. Don't be a diva and be like, oh, I want my own space, I want my own space. It's gonna cost you an arm and a leg at this rate. But on top of that, with everything that's going on, yeah. That that last line, for example, that's when the depression hits. That's when, especially now in winter, yeah. It's getting cold. Or like you can't uh, you can't afford for the electric bills now. Now you gotta I, I yeah. think the only the people that I can think of I can feel sorry I'll f- absolutely feel sorry for are parents yeah of like the the middle slash lower working yeah, yeah, class because yeah. it's one of those ones where like single moms you, single moms yeah. even single dads yeah mom, mom even mom and dad like yeah. you know 
parents with kids, you know, if you have a lot, a lot of kids, yeah, even yeah. one or two kids, it's like, it's going to be long for them, isn't it? Because it's them one's worse. Like, you've got to now put the kids first and like the kids, you, you might have to make a lot of sacrifices on your end. I think you have no choice but to make sacrifices. Mm. Well, if you're single by yourself, it's kind of like all on you. You mm. don't make sacrifices, you deal with it. If you make sacrifices, you benefit from it. But when, as a parent, you know, you have to now put the kid first. <laughs> And you, have, you come second to that child, which is obviously an admirable thing, like do that. But that's where, again, the depression can hit. Oh boy. It can hit you. It's gonna hit, if any any demographic, it's probably gonna hit them more. Lower class. Lower class. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Parent, if you have kids, you take your, you're know, the full custody of the kids. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna hit them more, probably. We've got the following line being, do you worry about anything else? Or is it just the rising bills? Can you sleep on your own accord, or do you now require pills? Pills, oh man, rah! You see, you see, nah, that's crazy. So you're basically up all night thinking of all. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Do require anything else? I mean, jeez, <laughs> that 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 links with the depression side of things. Yeah, well. and lower class obviously struggling more than obviously the higher class to live. I guess in the higher class, all you're thinking of is, oh, not as much holidays yeah. as uh, usual. You know, you can't eat at this place. You might not be able to eat at that place. Yeah. Whereas lower class, yeah, yeah it's going to uh, be. We only get two holidays a just, year now. Just to get a good night's yeah. sleep. Yeah, it's, as, it's, as the higher class, we only get two holidays a year now. Is uh, is uh, I, We used to have five, now we get two. I'm a bit sad about it. What's funny is, the, with the um, upper class, yeah. um, our landlord, current landlord in the place that we live in mm. now, they used to live in that house. They owned that house, mm. so that that was their house. But just before, I'd say just before winter, um, when, when the house was put on the market for renting, mm. they all moved to Spain. Mm. They all moved there. I think that's a common theme I'm seeing with a lot of people that can't afford to do it. Um, they all they all moved to Spain and they rent this house, and we're basically paying them, essentially making an income off it, um, which is something that. As annoying as it is, it's um, admirable. It's it's quite smart, to be fair. And I think people that can afford to do that are probably, I won't be surprised if there's, there are a lot more people doing it. So I guess that's for the upper class. That's what they're doing to uh, <laughs> kind okay, of... Who, whose dick do you suck to get up there? Like, how is it... Or to be that rich? Yeah, fucking hell. <laughs> <laughs> Boy. Yo, there are different avenues to being rich. Yeah. But like, that's, always, that's a long conversation for another day. Yeah. <laughs> more, more, more money, more problems. Oh, boy. That one there. Yeah. And the last little verse. Do you walk into your local shop to find an increase in prices? That's when reality hits you. We are living in a crisis. Oh, Absolutely. From the little minor things to the Fredos, you can see. Yeah, Fredo, Fredo, ninety five p Fredos. <laughs> like what kind of yo? Like twenty five p energy drinks. Now yeah. it's like thirty five, and yeah. now forty five. I think now fifty. It's like it's, just, uh, it's so long, man. But to be fair, <laughs> in that case, I don't do the grocery shopping at home, innit? So <laughs> I think the only thing that I can fully notice is the uh, when you're on um, just eat from. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The delivery prices have gone up, <laughs> but it's, it's 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 one of them things like. You, I am very appreciative to my mum, for example. Yeah. Like, if my mum didn't back me up or help me out, support me, I had to be renting somewhere, struggling. Yeah. I wouldn't be able to do the things I do in terms of, you know what I mean? You know what? Things like this, that's, for example. That's accurate because, like, with my family, the whole family, yeah, I would say we're living good right now. Yeah. We're living, like, compared, like, compared to most people in our... On our level, yeah. we're living good. And not because we're rich, but because everyone's unselfishly decided to put our you know, to put our resources together. Yeah. And with that coupled with the large amount of savings we have as well, that combined, we're not like we've we've got plan A, B, C, D, E, yeah. all the way to Z, if anything goes bad. Like if, if the prices go even higher, we've got all that covered. So I'll say I'll, I'm very, very fortunate to have that. And obviously learn from that as well, because obviously as a man, you want to have a wife, kids, eventually when you get older. So as a man, you have to, because my dad did all the calculations early on before all of that happened. So as a man, you have to kind of just look ahead. Mm. You have to be ahead of the game. Absolutely. You know, you, that's the burden as a man. And you have to you have to wear that with pride. You we, know? we have a lot of pressures as men. We, 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 we have do, a, a lot of pressure. 
it feeds into your masculine energy because you have to you have to wear it with pride. So, like, if any cost comes up, any unnecessary cost, any thing can come up. Your car, a car accident, you know, car needs to be fixed. It's gonna cost this you, amount. You got so and so pregnant. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's it's strict. I'm not saying you. That one's gonna. Be, <laughs> that one's gonna be strictly de- deportation. That's what that one's gonna be. Passport I'm revoked. <laughs> deport. I'm gonna get, get deported, bro. That yeah. there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Got me scared there, like. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <But laughs> it's one of them. You have to. Calc- you have to be very calculated. You have to be careful. You got exactly, yeah. bro. It's like, yo, I want this drip right now, mm. but I just have the amount to buy it. My dad taught me one thing: depending on how much you need something, if you only just want something, you don't need it. Wait till you can afford three or more before you buy one. You could be dripping yourself up for next month to say you look cold. Or are you dripping yourself up because you actually like it? Yeah, like it's one of them ones where do I need it? Exactly. exactly. Go ask yourself the question. So that's basically as a guy, you got to be calculated. Mm. If mm. I see you wearing something nice as a man, Aut- I, automatically. I, I, if I know you're obviously knowing you, you're smart, you're good with money. If I see you wear something expensive, I know for a fact you can afford two or three of them. Especially if I know you don't need it. Mm. I see you wearing it. But if I see you, if I know you and it's like, yo, you know, this thing costs 50K, mm. you've got 50K and you buy it. Fucking it's hell. Like, flipping it. Bro, come on, man. I don't know what thing costs 50K <laughs> nowadays, bro. No, I, 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 just, I just gave a, 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 a random, a, a random, a random example. 50. Like if you're looking to deposit for a house, yeah. you know, deposits for 25K, make sure you have 30 plus because mm. there are going to be other costs on top of that. And you're going to make sure you need, you have enough on top of, on top of that. So yeah, it's just being, I guess as a man, that's the burden. you got to just mitigate cost and be smart with it especially if you have a family exactly yeah. most importantly and the thing i want to do before we wrap up is to say thank you because i was going for a crisis um perhaps this morning perhaps <laughs> <laughs> perhaps this morning um after a cancellation of the mortgage advisor who was supposed to be yeah, trust helping. Second and, choice. He, help second and, choice. It's not, it's not that your second, second choice. choice. It's not that your second choice. That's all right. It's, I'm second born. I'm used, to it. I'm used to it. I'm used to it. It's, it's, fine. it's, it's one of them ones like, boy, this episode was supposed to be a mortgage advisor talking about mortgages, talking about younger people. I, I mentioned it to you prior. Learning about mortgages. Right? I don't know much about mortgages. I don't know much about interest rates. I don't know much about buying a house as a young person. Is it, is it a smart time? Is it... It doesn't, you know what I mean? Sitting down there's, with a mortgage, yeah, there's a lot of questions I have that a mortgage advisor would be able to, you know, give me an accurate answer to those questions. I would say if you've got, if you've got a decent saving, mortgage advisor and a financial advisor, mm-hmm. those two, those are the two, those two are very underrated. Yeah. I would say definitely because, I mean, every little thing from how much do you have now, you know, when are you trying to buy? There's certain general knowledge. There's there's general knowledge based on when prices go down. Yeah. You don't really have to be too smart to know, okay, this price has gone down. So now I can buy and the price goes back up. You know, you, you, you can, I think in general, people can kind of gauge that, especially yeah. if you pay bills. But if you want to know the ins and outs, the the the, um, the figures of it all, then a mortgage advisor or financial advisor, those are the two you're probably looking for. Yeah. But instead, it is. It's, it's not. It's not that I need a house. It's not that I have intentions of buying a house or anything like that yet. Yeah. But it's a good thing to for, for younger people to know about. For example, people like myself. I don't know much about it, so it would have been a a good thing for me to learn and enlighten myself and enlighten a lot of younger people as well. So it's this, and on top of that, touch on what's going on in terms of cost of living crisis in terms of. X amount of money you need to save for this. Well, so what additional charges on top of a mortgage, for example? Because people think that I mean you only pay the mortgage, but <laughs> <laughs> you people think you only pay the mortgage, but there's there's some house tax. You got top. you got to put a deposit to hold the house exactly because the house is on the market. So yep. you got to put a deposit to hold the house. Yeah, I think that might be the same amount that they put the house off the market, yeah. but either that or you have to pay another amount to put that amount to put the house off so, the market. Um, stress it's stress and then obviously oh. yeah man but the thing about it is i would always recommend young folks to get a mortgage because you if you want to especially when, if you want to move out if you want to live by yourself go for the mortgage save up bite the bullet maybe 12 months or plus right. bite the bullet save up because that money is the money you pay monthly is going towards the house mm. you don't have to finish paying off the house if you want to sell the house the money you've already paid off 
guess what? That's going into your pocket. But if you're saving X amount, surely that money would depreciate. What do you mean? I, I heard someone talk about this, about, oh, you're putting money in the bank, you're saving X amount, da 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 da, da. And then... Or the exchange yeah, the rate. The exchange rate exchange would depreciate. Rate. Da, da, da. It so fluctuates. You got 50K now, and next week is what? 25K instead of 50. It's, okay, that it, might be a stretch, yeah. but I hear what you mean. But you hear, hear what, what I mean. mean. But I it's, it's, mean. There's, there's so many variables. There's so many if things. You're, if you're saving up for the sake of saving, then yeah. Well, if you're saving up for something, yeah, you know, deposit for a house yeah. or to put a deposit on a business or something like that, then 100%. You've, there's an end goal. As long as there's an end goal, don't worry about the rest. Yeah. Just evolve according to if if it depreciates, then save up even more. Like exactly. I'll say renting, you're putting money in someone else's pockets. Yeah. And that alone just gets on my nerves. Like just to, like you're burning, you're basically burning yeah. money every month. You're burning, you're, you might as well just set it on fire. You're burning so, money every month. Something, something Martel mentioned to me actually, it's part buy, part rent. Um, I was speaking to someone about this and they basically said it doesn't work for every property you go get, for example. It, yeah. works, it works for a lot of different pro- You have to tick X amount of boxes before you get a part buy, part rent. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. got to put X amount of... But these are these are questions that I would ask. Um, like you mentioned, a mortgage, a advisor. mortgage <laughs> advisor. You know what I mean? A mortgage advisor would be able to educate me properly about yeah yeah there's certain things i won't be yeah, yeah. there's certain things <laughs> that's for sure i did message you say yo pretend you're a mortgage advisor <laughs> <laughs> bro i know i used to work for for one but yo <laughs> that man will suss me out bro. they'll be like yo, yo like, just you don't shit. work for us no more man. Like, don't be trying shit like that yeah but now nah, in yeah. general the, yeah the best thing to do is to buy it is to buy it because the funny thing is i know someone who buy who's bought two bed yeah and rents one room and the person, all the person pays is a bit of bills and that one room is rented, is paying for the mortgage. Yeah. So you have more money in your pocket. So a house that will cost you a grand to, to rent, mm. if you get that house on a mortgage, you're paying five, six, seven hundred pounds a month. Mm. So if you think about, about it that way, it makes sense to, to buy, I would buy. But if, if you're one of them ones where you want to travel, mm. you want to see the world, and all that stuff. Festivals and all of that yeah, shit. Or yeah, or travel abroad or, you know, then mortgage ain't free. Yeah, I agree. Then do, do you. And do, do, but, do the Andrew Trader. But if you right? want to be smart and you don't really, you have a lot of money, but you don't know where you want to invest it in, then I'll probably recommend a house because that is something that can go up and you can sell the house anytime. That's every month you're putting in money. You're basically saving. Mm. You're putting the money into the house every month. You've paid 50% of the, of the mortgage off and you decide, you know what? I want to sell. Yeah. And you sell it. All the money you've paid off or even or even, or even become a little bit smarter. All right, I'm going to rent this room for X amount. I'm going to rent yeah. this room for X amount. Rent, yeah. I'm going to rent the kitchen over here. No one steps in the kitchen. Or if the amount of the price of the house goes up, yeah. you want to sell the house, mm. you sell the house, the price has gone up. Now you can afford a bigger house. Exactly. So it just goes up from there, and that's how people get on the property property yeah, property ladder. Well. Yeah, yeah, property yeah, ladder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, that's that's a lot right. to it. There's a lot to there's it. But to it. that's what I've just said was general. Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to break down numbers <laughs> like a mortgage advisor. Can. I'm not gonna be able to break down numbers. I only know general stuff. No, that's blessed. But bro, you've been. It's been an honor. It's yeah, been trust. a pleasure. What time is it? What time is it? Well, I would have been sleeping now. <laughs> so, to be fair, productive, productive Bye. Saturday, man. Love for this. Thank you for this.